So today I'm rearranging my shop. The very first thing that I need to do to accomplish the things that I want to do is remove this old 2x4 style workbench. It's attached to the brick wall that you see there. And this is the very first thing that I built in my shop. And when I built it, I just started loading a bunch of stuff in there that I don't really need. And so it just became this corner of unorganized stuff. And it's been like that ever since. So that has to come out. I want to add a more traditional style workbench and at first I thought I wanted it on this brick wall but since I've changed my mind but this still has to come out because I've got a, a plan of what I want to do. Uh, I went to grizzly.com and accessed their shop planner and kind of shuffled things around and moved things here and there and came up with a pretty good layout that I think is going to work for me. So that's one of the things I thought about with this project is how do I work with my tools? You know, how do I access it in uh, different ways that I might walk up to my saw or am I right handed or left handed? Um, obviously, I know that I'm right handed, so I need to position my tools in a way that I can access them and use them uh, to their fullest capabilities. And so that was some of the things that I thought about when I went in and started planning the layout. So once I reached the, the layout that I liked, and that's when I can start thinking about what has to be moved, what has to be taken out, and I can really start honing in on specifics as far as where things are gonna be. I don't wanna fall into this trap of, I've gotta do this to do that, I've gotta do that to do this, and then it's just this vicious cycle of never doing anything at all. So that is key here I just have to make that first move and that's what I'm doing here and I want to document this process along the way so in case you guys run into this problem or don't know really where to start or how to stay motivated I want to share with you what I've learned and what I've done uh, thus far now one thing that I want to keep in mind are my limits as far as workspace goes uh, I've taken out the bench as you can see the desk that you see over on the left hand side that's going to be coming out as well so I'm going to have this whole corner freed up but I need to be careful not to want to add in some other things it's just going to put me back in the same boat that I was in before I took the bench down so I'm looking for a small win in this project uh, so I've taken out the bench I'm going to be taking out the desk I'm taking out the tool wall right now and so the small win for this particular project or for this particular uh, day is I'm going to be able to move two pieces of equipment, two tools, my jointer and my planer, over onto this wall, which will match the plan that I've got when I went to the Grizzly uh, shop planner. I've got the jointer and planer on this wall. So that's my end goal here in today's project. Uh, and I will get there. And so that's what's going to keep me motivated. I'm, I'm going to have that moved over to the wall. And that, then I can move over to something else in the shop. But I'm just kind of working my way around the shop. Um, eventually, I'll have this thing just like I want it. But workflow is what I'm after and convenience. If something is not convenient, I'm not going to use it. And so workflow and convenience work together, in my opinion. Uh, I want to have a nice flow in the shop, but I also want to have things that are very convenient to what I'm doing. So speaking of convenience, you'll notice as I'm taking this tool wall down that I've got three rows of French cleats behind those fence panels. And French cleats are extremely helpful, useful, convenient. Uh, they allow flexibility and just to be able to move things around and they're great. I don't think I spaced mine uh, properly. Uh, they work better when they're closer together just to be able to support uh, the things that you're hanging. But I'm, re I'm gonna remove the two lower rows of French cleats here and leave the top row. Um, I'm not going to go back and add French cleats on this entire brick wall. I like the look. I'm just not exactly sure what I want to do here. Uh, but also I want to point something else out. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I've been collecting these screws as, I've, as I'm going in my hand and then going and dump them in a bucket, coming back, getting more. But I'm going to be adding Yet again, convenience to my workflow right here. So I've got a, now I've got a magnetic strip around my wrist that when I take a screw out, I can just take it out and lay it on my wrist on the magnet and keep going. I don't have to use my hand to grab the board or anything while I'm holding screws. I can just lay it on my wrist and keep going. Very convenient. This is uh, actually made by Atlas 46. I'll leave a link down in the description in case you guys are interested. As a couple of small wins today and just 
for the progress that I've made. I'm moving a couple of my tools into their new home, and that just excites me and motivates me to finish this project. So there's a link down in the description of this video. It's a website article. Follow that link over to my website where I'll cover more details on this project. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and the final layout of the shop rearrangement. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.